How's it gaming guys? I'm Film the Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last episode we started our quest, our Dragon Quest, and uh, we got to level 3 which got us the heal spell, or cure spell, I forget what it's called in this game, because the names are a little bit different than the original NES version, and we bought ourselves some leather clothes and we have a club. Well, right now, we're, of course, wanting to get a little bit more uh, leveling up, we wanted to level 4 at least, uh, and get 90 gold for a shield, which would be really good. And after that, we could start actually having a little adventure. We'll, we'll explore a little cave around here, and uh, we'll continue on. So, uh, I'm just going down here, because in the original game, uh, there was a little place, I think some people called it the Scorpion's Nest, at least H.C. Bailey did, and it's kind of... Uh, I used to watch his Let's Plays, and this is when I first found out about Let's Playing and stuff like that. He was one of the first. Uh, and here, the uh, enemy encounter table would kind of bleed off into the left and down below, and we'd ha we'd be able to fight stronger enemies. I don't know if that's the case in this one. No, it looks like they didn't they didn't keep that in there. I guess they fixed that for this version of the game. That's kind of a shame, because it's a really fun way to uh, fight scorpions and magicians early, early on in the game that you didn't get to... You didn't have to, like, go around the mountains and just to fight some stronger enemies near the castle. That's okay, not a big deal, not a big deal. Uh, so last episode I didn't really talk about how this game sort of works. Because um, this is, like I said, it's the granddaddy of JRPGs. So before like other JRPGs like Final Fantasy and Fantasy Star came around with like actual quests and storylines, uh, Dragon Quest kind of doesn't have that. It's uh, go save the princess, which is completely optional by the way, and go stop the Dragon Lord. That's it, that's your quest. Everything you do is is building towards that. There's no secondary kind of thing. Uh, but because of that, the game is open world. Other than the Dragon Lord's Castle, you can go anywhere you want right away. It's the only thing stopping you from doing anything or going anywhere is your own levels and your, your survivability, basically. If you go too far, you'll die. If you get really good rolls and you're able to run away from all the fights, you could make it to an area with near uh, near the end of the game with, with like boss-style enemies. So that's kind of cool. I do like that. Um, and, and what's fun about that is that you can do everything in the game at, I wouldn't say at your own pace, but like kind of in your own order. Uh, so like you do need items in order to open up the Dragon Lord's castle, but you get those items in, in, in different orders, uh, depending on where you find them and how you figure out puzzles and stuff like that. Uh, and that's pretty cool. I like that. So you might see me going through the game in a way that you'd be like, oh, well, that's not how I go through it. I go through it completely different. And I love that. I think it's really cool because games don't really, didn't really have that later on. They were very specific on what you could do and when you could do it. So we got level four, which means we get some stuff. Ooh, HP by seven, MP by six. That is fantastic. We should also get, a, yes, a new spell, Fireball. In the original game, it was called the Hurt Spell. This is just Fireball. It's not an amazingly powerful weapon or uh, magic. It's not really about the, the power. It's the fact that it goes through defense. So when you fight magicians or magic drakies or uh, scorpions that are like armored really well, uh, Fireball will go through that defense. So it kind of replaces your regular attack when you need to fight those. But obviously that takes an MP and you, we only have 10 full MP. Mind you, I didn't. I need to heal up to get my MP back because you don't gain MP from levels. You just gain max MP. Uh, we should be good for our 90 gold now. So let's uh, check that out and we'll probably make our way back to town. Um, um, status. Sit down. No, we're, we're still fighting. We're still fighting. That's okay. Need 21 more. So uh, I'm going to show you the map of the world real quick. Here it is. Yay! So this is where we are right now. This is where Tentacle Castle is. And uh, basically, the entire game is either you go clockwise from the castle or counterclockwise from the castle. Just keep that in mind as we as we try to explore a little bit throughout these episodes and stuff like that. So um, we'll probably be able to make it to the next town before the end of this episode, hopefully anyways, uh, which would be really nice. There's not going to be a lot of progression per episode in this Let's Play. Uh, this is not a long game by any means. It's not going to be a ton of episodes, but it is slow. It's a slow game. You're meant to like take it one step at a time and not go crazy. Uh, you can't rush through it, basically. You can, I guess. You'll probably just get yourself killed. So, speed of which, I don't know if I said this last episode, but if you do die, you don't lose any experience points. You just go back to the castle, uh, fully revive, but you lose half of the money you have, which is why they have little banks where you can put money in there. I guess if you wanted to explore a place safely. Uh, I'm not planning on dying, unless it's to warp back to, to the castle after I buy a bunch of stuff, because that, that's definitely helpful. Uh, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. I want 93 gold, because I want to stay at the inn as well. 
I'm not gonna go to that guy and get my MP filled up every three gold is nothing. Apparently that's not cheaper than it was in the original NES version. I think it was like five gold or six gold. It's still not very expensive, but this is part of the game and it's like not a lot of money, but it takes a while to farm that kind of money, so. I mean I'm only oh four gold's not the worst. Whoops. One more red slime will be good. We'll be good. Good to go. Fight the mountains. Red slime? Blue slime? No, that's not good enough. But you can tell, like, I'm gaining strength pretty easily. Um, I'm not having any trouble with the enemies out here. Again, this is because of the Super Famicom version, which is a lot easier than the NES version. Uh, if you're playing the NES version, just take smaller risks than I'm taking in this game, basically. Just because you never know um, how much stronger something might be in the original game. All right, let's go in there. We'll buy our leather shield and we'll rest the inn and we'll make our way to our first little dungeon. First little dungeon, yay. Hello, good sir. So weapon shop, I would like to buy. I would like to buy a leather shield for my defense up, hooray. I would like to equip it right now. And I don't have anything to sell him, so we don't, we don't gain any money back from our old equipment. So down to the inn. Hello, I'd like in your inn, please. Thank you, and now we get all our MP back. So we probably won't have to use a lot other than a couple heals. We have enough for two heals now, I think. Um, but I'm probably not going to have to use Fireball because we're, we're going to be fighting magicians or anything big like that. So let's go north. We'll find our first little cave. And uh, our next thing we're going to want to buy is the uh, it's the Copper Sword, I think. Which is much better than our, our, our little club that we have right now. But I think the club... I think the, there's still a weak robe, it's like the bamboo pole or something. It's like, why would you even buy that? Ridiculous. I'd rather fight unarmed. There we are, a little cave. That's so close to home. Yay. And it is very dark. That's okay, because we got the torch. Use the torch. Philip lit the torch. So that's pretty cool. In the original NES game, there are no enemies here. I don't know if that's the case in this one, but seeing how I still haven't gotten into a fight, I'm assuming that there are no enemies. This is a trial dungeon kind of thing. There's not even a palpable reward for going in here. It's actually just like for lore, which is kind of cool back then, actually. Go down here. And the torch does not wear off until you leave the dungeon. Later on, we'll actually get a spell, uh, but the spell does wear after after taking a few uh, a certain amount of steps, a decent amount. But it also doesn't cost a lot of MP, so later on in the game, it's not really that beneficial to have torches. Especially in the NES version. I said eight inventory slots, by the way, last episode. It's actually ten uh, inventory slots uh, in that original game. One of which you're using for your dragon scale. So in this game, you have a little bit more room. And there we go. Here's a little grave. Let's search, I guess. Philip reads the tombstone. A message is etched into it. Descendant. My name is Erdrick. Three items were necessary to cross the Island of Evil, which can be seen from Tentigal Castle. I collected these items, crossed to the island, er, these items crossed to the island, and defeated the evil king. I then entrusted these items to three wise men in the kingdom. Their descendants protect those items and await your arrival. When an evil demon rises once again on the island, collect those items and slay the creature. The three men await your arrival somewhere in this land. Go forth, my descendant. And there we go. We've actually got our first giant clue on how to do that. We need three items, and there are three wise men around the world. And they're in various shrines, yeah, around the world. And when you go to them, they'll be like, uh, I don't have your thing, or maybe I do have your thing, but you need something to trade me, or like, there's there's little quests. So there we go, we, we actually have something to do, something to look forward to now. Isn't that fantastic? That's super great. I kind of wish there were some fights in here. Not that that's like, a, it's not like super dangerous, but it's like nice to have something to to gain some experience levels. So I guess we'll um, we'll try to fight a little bit around uh, the next area, which is um, Garenum, which is to the left. It's the top left corner of the world, the most Western uh, area in the game. So like I said, you can only go clockwise and counterclockwise pretty much from, uh, from Tentigal. So it's right there. So let's try to see if we can fight some better enemies. No, just red slimes. All right, we're, then we're gonna take a risk. We're going to take a risk. So right now, I'm all about getting that copper sword. Because, um, like, the steps between all your equipment are a lot of a lot of gold. For example, I got the leather shield for 90. The next shield, I think, is like 800 or something like that. It's pretty nuts. So 
It, it, it's like that with a lot of the items. Uh, you do get a lot of weapons in this game, which is nice. Uh, the Copper Sword is the next one, uh, which isn't too, too far off after the, the club that we just got last episode at the beginning. And then uh, we're going to be trying for some better uh, armor. So here we go. This is a bridge. Bridges are scary in Dragon Quest games because as soon as you cross that bridge, you get to the next, like, tier of monsters. So if you're going to fight the next tier and you're not sure if you're going to be able to do it, oh... Oh, a magic drake so Let's see how much we'll do. If you're going to do this, you fight near the bridge. Three damage. And he fights me for two damage. Okay, nothing nothing too crazy. He's fast, though. And he's not dying in one hit. And that'll, or two hits, which is already scary. Or three hits. And he cast Fireball. That did nine. Oh, my goodness. Oh. So, there we go. That shows how... Oh, 12 experience and 20 gold, though. My God. Shows how much more powerful they are. But we have our heal spell, which is... Oh, it's three out of ten. Okay. We have three casts of it. Okay, good. Let's fight around here anyways. We'll use Fireball. We'll see if it's any good against what we fight around here. Bad Drake again. Spell. Fireball, he costs two. That's not too bad. Fireball, yeah! 19 damage. See what I mean? Goes right through defense. Fantastic. So, we'll level up around here, methinks. Get that 180 I need. And this is a Magician. Magicians are scary. They obviously cast Fireball. Uh, most of the time, I think there's like a 50-50 chance or something like that. Oh, but my fireball is more powerful. Yeah, this is way easier than the NES version, which is good. It means we'll be able to go through the, uh, the game a little bit faster. Level 5. Strength by 4. Fantastic. Ooh, 4 and 4. That's not bad. Okay. We're doing for gold already. 98. We did 100 more. And then we'll do more grinding, because that's the game, man. Oh, a scorpion. Scorpions don't have um, fireball magic, but they do have high uh, defense, so. Boom. You're dead, son. 16 and 25 gold. We'll do one more fight. It'll be scary because we don't have uh, we don't have any more fireball left. But, ooh, six damage. We've already gotten a little bit better. Don't cast it every time, though. That's what I'm scared about. Five damage. Oh, damn. Please be dead. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's head to our next town and rest of the inn. Back in safe Slimeville. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness for safe, safe Slimeville. Wow. Not, there I was going to say, not a single fight there. Oh, no, a Drakey. Terrific move. 20 damage. Nice. It's such small numbers. Nowadays, like, you begin Final Fantasy 13 and you punch something that's like 5,000 damage. Like, jeez. Okay, calm down. All right. Our next town. Let's explore. Let's explore this little town. Let's see if anyone has anything to say. Would you like to hear a song, Traveler? Yes. Then, <clears throat> ooh, little music. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, that was your song? I thought you were like warming up with your harp. Actually, I'm training right now, but someday I want to become as ta talented as Garen. Ooh, Garen, he must have uh, created Garenum. Or founded it, I guess. Six gold, not bad. Not bad at all, good sir. Tra -la 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 -la. One of my favorite things when I was a kid was the um, in music in various games. I think Wild Arms might have the best in in music in the in in all RPGs. <laughs> Welcome to Garenum, the town of the ancient minstrel. Well, thank you. Get out of my way. Get out of get get out of my way. All right, this is the weapon store. Let's see what they got. We got a club which we don't want. Copper sword. Ooh, we can buy them here. Nice. I don't have to go back to the castle then. A uh, hand axe. Woo. Uh. Decent, 20 to 31, but I mean, that's a lot of money. Leather clothes, which we already have. Then is the chain mail for 300, which will be our next step after that. And the large shield for 800. So we do not have that much money for anything. That's okay. We came from Tentigle. There was a cave halfway underway here. That cave is said to be for the worship of the legendary warrior Erdrich. Yes, I was there. I am related to him, you know. But we don't have proof of that. According to that one guy uh, who was like, you don't have proof, you suck. I'm like, oh, that's mean. Very long ago, after a lengthy struggle, the minstrel Garen ended his long journey in this land and built this town. Therefore, this place is called the town of Garenham, or Garenhim, or Garenum, depending on how you want to pronounce it this day. I saw everything. A monster kidnapped the princess of Tentigle and flew her to the east. Is there any brave person who could help the princess? No. Oh, the poor princess. <laughs> That's really funny. I like how a lot of yes-no questions that are just flavor, you know what I mean? Yes. Oh, there is? Then please tell that person that the princess was taken to the east. There we go. We're getting more information. The princess is to the east. Welcome. This is an item shop. How can I help you? Uh, let's see what we got for items. Uh, medical, medical herb, torch. 
I'm gonna buy a, a torch. Having one on me right now when I don't have um, Radiant is probably a good idea. And I'm also gonna buy a couple medical herbs just to have. I don't need Dragon Scale, you only need one in the entire game because it's basically an equipable thing. That way if I lose uh, my heal, I don't have enough MP for curing or healing myself, then I can still do something. All right, so Garenum's not very big, as you can tell. Uh, but obviously there's a lot more to this town. Uh, in this gigantic foreboding, foreboding, foreboding building, which I can't get to, because the door is locked, and I don't have a key, and we have no way to get keys yet. Is there anything over here? This is like a little, little clearing to play. Yay, fun. That was, that's, <laughs> that's weird. Why, why do you have a little bridge there for no reason? That's funny. Let's go back to our little grindy spot, now that we have more MP and everything, and we'll grind some more. We'll grind and grind and grind. This is definitely the type of game where we're just gonna have a lot of time to just talk to each other. And by that I mean I'll talk to you and you'll comment below and I'll never get around to answering you <laughs> because I taped these so far in advance. Yeah, ghosts, like enemies around here, the, the normal enemies in the area one basically mean nothing to me. So it's time. Ooh, we have 14 MP now. Time to go on a crazy fireball spree and kill everything around here. If you really, really wanted to be dangerous, there's that cave to the right there uh, in this area that you could see from the beginning of the game. But uh, that's a little bit dangerous. We're not going to be doing that. Uh, instead, there's we'll, we'll buy some stuff and there's a few other places we can explore around Tentegal. Uh, we might be able to find our first wise man uh, next episode too. We're going to be doing things just for fun and doing things. Like, you don't need to go to the areas until you get the things you need. But I like exploring at the same time. Like, I like to grind and explore at the same time. Not just grind and then when you explore, run away from everything because you don't want... I don't know. I like to... Oh, he didn't see me. I'm just going to punch him in the face. Ha ha! Club to the face. Another club to the face. Won't kill him. He'll attack me instead of using fireball, so he's stupid. Yeah! So you can get uh, preemptive attacks, obviously, as you saw there, but you can also get caught by a preemptive attack from enemies, so be very careful. Magician! No, 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 fireball. That'll teach you. So easy. So easy. Level six soon? Nope. Actually, how are we doing? Oh, we have enough! Well, you know what? Let's keep going. We have a little bit of time. Um, I don't want to go all the way back there and then have nothing to do after we've bought the stuff. We're at 17 and a half minutes. So we're going to keep going, and then uh, when we need to go back, we'll, we'll go back at that point. That way there's less grinding next episode, so hooray. Hopefully we'll reach level 6 soon. Should be. I'd say two more fights. Not this fight, but the fight directly afterwards. That's what I'm saying. Put some money down. Place your bets now, folks. Will Phil gain a level now? Two to one odds. Oh, okay. Well, if you voted last, next uh, battle, you didn't get it. But if I, if you agreed with me, let's see if we got this. Come on, level, 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 level. Ah, wow! I actually, I can't believe I guessed that right. Rose level six, strength increased by four. Uh, I didn't get a lot there. Three and three, and only my strength increased by a lot, but I got no other stats. Oh, well, that's enough. I'm out of MP. So we'll go back, and now things here. Like, slimes, they trembled before me. I mean, they were already dying in one hit, but now I'm just doing a stupid amount of damage. Plus, I'm about to get a nice, a nice copper sword. No more blunt damage. Now we're slicing and dicing. I like the town sprite. It's really cute. La, la, da, 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 tea, tea, hum. Get out of my way, little girl. <laughs> you are an annoying little girl. Wow, we almost have enough. Wow, you get a lot more money in this game. Holy crap, it's so much faster. I almost have enough for chain mail. Uh, all right, copper sword. So if you really want to, you could just grind for that hand axe, but whatever. And I think he'll want, yeah, no, I guess you have to uh, manually sell in this version of the game. Sell my club, 30 gold. Thank you. I would not like anything else and I would like to rest at an inn. And then uh, before we end the episode, we'll go back out there and we'll just see how much stronger I am. We did nine HP of damage to that Drakey. So uh, we'll see how much damage uh, one will take as we make our way to uh, to the upper uh, right, the north eastern part of the continent. Okay, Drakey, let's see how much we do. Slice! 11. So it only went up by 2 damage, but I mean in this game that's enough. Anyways, guys that is enough dragon questing today. We'll start right here, right next to uh, Erdrick's Tomb's cave entrance. Actually, you know what? Let's make our way back to town. 
Now, obviously not every episode will start like that, but at the beginning of the game, like you don't really venture all that way away from the uh, from Tentacle Castle. And that way you guys can keep a little bit, uh, it'll be a little easier for you guys to tell kind of where we are in the world. Not that the world's very big, but you know what I mean. Down, down, down. There's the castle, right there. All right, guys, we'll start here next time. I'm f oh, we'll get first new fight. Red slime explode. 14 damage, very nice. Anyways, guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.